Yeah, today we are honored to be part of the the outreach, the health outreach for the deaf community here at uh, Saint Matia Mulumba Parish Catholic Church of Kampala. We here we have uh, some number of youth, youth, deaf youth, especially who have come to to be taken through health as well as get some medical attention. Uh, this was organized by by Hummingbird Foundation and also Whole Nation Foundation for the Deaf. And for sure it's our privilege and humble honor to be partners of this course. With us we have Adeke Martha who has been at the forefront of this in our organization. Very interested in the issues of health. Uh, ensuring that uh, the, the, the youthful people gain these things. You know, the deaf community has been much ignored. They have been denied access to socioeconomic opportunities and for sure they suffer in silence. But here are we today to amplify their voices and realize uh, that they also be part of whatever is happening in this world. We want to ensure inclusivity of every person today. Let's hear from Martha. How are you, Martha? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm okay. Can you please tell us about about the day today? Oh, it's a hot Friday in the city of Kampala. We are at St. Matia Catholic Church where we are reaching out to the deaf community. And they have gotten many services, they have gotten knowledge and everything. And on the next day, they are going to learn more about her. They will be talking things pertaining to general debate and policies. Has also partnered with having bad foundation, rather reaching to the help deaf community in matters concerning health. That is achieving the sustainable development goal, which is good health and health. Okay, so what is your opinion about the deaf people? Do you have any statistics or why do you feel they have really missed out that they need to gain together with also other people around? Okay, the deaf community has really missed out a lot since they haven't been they haven't been looked at, they haven't been given much attention as a people who are not impaired in any way. And we also have many people that are impaired, they are visually impaired and so on, but the deaf have really been ignored. So in Uganda, there is not really a much number of deaf people. But what I know that they are there since much, many of them have come and have and have been impacted with in matters concerning health. So I feel like the deaf people haven't even been haven't haven't been in things like sports, debates, and still they have not have had deaf people participate in debate, poetry and everything. But there are things, there are innovations that have come up for the deaf people to also be and freely live in this world. Yes. Okay, so you mean in the near future we shall have a debate for the deaf people? Yes. Wow, that's really amazing. Hopefully. Yeah, just one thing. What motivates you to what? do all this? What motivates me to do all this is what they call impact. We have to reach to everyone. We don't have to leave anyone behind. We shouldn't leave no stone unturned. So that deaf people are part of the people that God created. So we have to also reach out to them. Godliness is one of our goals. One of our core values. One of our core values. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank all you. All right.